New tonight, the Electric Forest Festival in Roth Ferry is just two months away. And once again, there is concern about traffic. And this year, many are also upset about restrictions on tickets to the festival that neighbors are given because of the inconvenience. 13 on your side's Kiara Patterson was at an emotional village meeting in Roth Ferry tonight and is here to tell us what happened. Juliet, the meeting was heated and packed as Rothbury residents say they basically feel like they're being under house arrest during the Electric Forest Festival. At what point does the goodwill of the community and Electric Forest, I mean, it's starting to clash. It's basically putting these people under a house arrest because they won't really be able to leave their house, walk across the street or do anything because they will actually be inside of Electric Forest. The Rothbury Village Council hosted a meeting Tuesday night where the city briefly discussed the community's concerns over the Electric Forest Festival. This meeting comes after many complaints by the community and neighbors of the surrounding area raising concern over chaos with ticket distribution, congested traffic and poor cell service. What we experienced during this time is a lack of cell phone service, unable to travel our own roads, um, we, if there's an emergency, uh, the uh, emergency personnel police are unable to get to us. And this is affecting us in a lot of ways because this is a festival that takes place in our front yards. More than 30,000 people attended last year's Electric Forest Festival, and this year is expected to be no different. The event administrator of the village of Rothbury says one of the main concerns he's heard from the community is the new ticket system for the festival. The way the program has been is uh, people who, who lived in the affected area, and again, those boundaries are determined by the festival organizers, uh, would be provided with complimentary wristbands for entry for the entire festival, four day, the four-day event. Uh, they've changed that now. For this year, that's going to change to uh, just a one-day uh, entry for the Sunday of the event. Rossler says the village of Rothbury has nothing to do with how the tickets for the festival are distributed. The village doesn't have anything to do with this program. They're not involved in it in any way, and so it's it's something like I said, it's uh, something that the the village, or excuse me, the uh, festival organizers implemented way back with the very first Rothbury Festival before it became the Electric Forest Festival. Um, they understand that you know there is an impact uh, in this small community, especially for people who live on the roads that are closed off for for periods of time. No action was taken by the village council. The community is still waiting for answers from the electric force organizers about restricting the number of tickets they receive. In the newsroom, Kiara Patterson, 13, on your side.